Hello everybody. When you watch one of my videos, you never know what you're gonna get, but it's gonna be useful information for you. Today, I'm gonna go over giving yourself a haircut. We're all spending a lot of time at home and may not have someone else there to give you a haircut. But in this one here, I'm gonna go over the components of giving yourself a haircut. You can see the techniques that I use and I've used over the years so that you can give yourself a great haircut. Stay tuned. many different types of clippers out there. You can get uh, a good set at Sally's Beauty Salon or off of Amazon of course. I do not recommend going to Walmart and getting some of those. Uh, they have to decrease their prices there at Walmart all the time so in the motors may look exactly the same but in the motor windings there will be less windings in there so therefore it will, it will heat up more and cause more work to the motor and therefore uh, wear out a lot quicker. So, if you're going to spend some money on a clipper, get a good pair. The kind of clipper I got to is uh, rechargeable. It, it adjusts the length. This is the only thing I use. There are different type of edging on there so where you can cut it, uh, different tapers. Uh, but this is the only one I use. Uh, this pops right off and you, then I have a straight blade to it. And then uh, you just pop that back on and set it to the right setting that you want to set it to. And that's that. You can go to the store and you can get this hair clipper blade oil. You can get this, or three-in-one oil also works very well uh, for this here. Just a little bit of on the blade keeps uh, the machine lasting a long time. Only three more components to giving yourself a haircut. A mirror, also a little brush, and then a little cleanup brush. This costs a dollar at the dollar store. Take it everywhere with me. Good cleanup tool if you're in a hotel or traveling. Very good tool. Okay, very first thing is I'll take the edge off the clippers there and then I'll just pull, apply a little bit of oil uh, to the blade of the clipper. I'll put the oil back up and we're about ready to do a haircut. Okay, start off at the top here. I'll just go ahead and give myself a haircut. You can kind of see how I do it. Just clip, start off the top. I've been doing this for a few years so I can do it uh, pretty well. I actually had to shave myself bald few times. But being in the military, that's not a bad thing. You can get away with it. So, so I just use a straight action on and then I get around the ears and I get the neck on the back. I can't see where I'm cutting in the back there so I'll have to get that a little bit later. Want to get the sides up on the top and around the back. So, I'll do all this here. Then I repeat the same thing for the other side. Shouldn't take too long. Been doing this for quite a few years. Ever since I was in the military, this is about my fourth set of flippers, fourth or fifth set. So, I think they're getting close to being paid off. So, haircuts now in the military are about twelve dollars give you a, a decent haircut and every once in a while I do go into if I get near a military installation I'll uh, get a haircut every once in a while just to make sure that I'm not getting too far off on my haircuts I got my sides done okay now I'll go ahead and get the tops so this pretty much comes off now you won't take as much off on the sides uh, for yourself probably so what you do is use these clippers here and you'll go down about halfway here and uh, leave a little bit more around this section here. But you'll get it just about as tight as I do around the edges here. And you can see how I do those edges a little bit later here. So next thing I'll do is I, I will put on my clipper. And I normally don't do this with a shirt on, but I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable, so. Okay, so I'll set it to my setting. I'll do most of my hair at this level at uh, about two notches in. Everyone measures these things a little bit differently, whether it be a number one blade, number two, number three, number four, or they may measure it uh, in three quarters of an inch, five eighths of an inch, whatever it is. So I take this down, and this is probably about a five eighths. If you do that, I don't know the number setting for that. I like to leave a little bit in the front here, 
This is my little style thing here. Yep, it's all taken care of so far here. Then I'll take off my front end here. I'll just cut the front manually. And you'll see the hairstylist or the barbers will actually use two fingers here and do this here thing. I'm not quite that good, but I can just pretty much measure up there. You can see I do that. I don't want to mess up and look in the camera and try to do this here. You can see how straight across it is now. I'll do that right across the sides, get it all equal length. It's all good, all measured out equally. Okay, now we're going to go to the back. Okay, the back. Uh, the most difficult part about it, but it's only difficult as you believe it's difficult. So for this one here, it really isn't that bad. You just uh, get used to it. What I do is I use the big mirror back there. And I raise this up above so I can see my hair in the back. Let me show you the back right here. And you can see that my hair is not even in the back. The first thing I'll do is I'll go over the back here and make sure that I get all uh, hair off the back. Let me check and see. Yep, there's a spot right here. You can notice that spot. There's some hair left right there. So I'll need to get that spot off and then I'll make sure all the hair's off. And then I'll go to measuring all of this here and then I'll blend it all in and then I'll be done. So first things first. Okay. Now that we've completed our haircut and uh, weren't damaged too bad, I want to give you a safety brief here. Should have done this at the beginning, but uh, be careful. Don't cut yourself. It's a dangerous world out there. Just kidding. Now, back to our regularly scheduled haircut. Spot that I missed, and then I'll actually do all the rest of the spots, go over it just a little bit, and make sure that hair is all taken off or measured up evenly. So now what I'm going to do, make everything even. So I don't just go for the gold all at once here. I sneak up on it just a little bit. Make sure it's nice and even. And then I'm right handed so I'm doing this with my left hand. Shouldn't be any problem with that as long as I go slow and Come in equally. How's it look so far? Looks pretty even there in the back there. What do you think? So that's pretty good. And so now what I want to do is uh, I want to level this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking through the back mirror and towards the door here and to see that there's a little bit of a edge on there and I want to blend it all in going right along just a little bit left here am I doing that tongue thing just remember to take your time do everything slowly and if I do it right come in slowly take off just a little bit each time everything looks pretty even around the outside there Okay, one final inspection about the whole thing here. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Okay, next part of it here is cleanup. Yeah, a good technique for tools is if you borrow a tool, like someone could borrow this if you live in the barracks or you live in a hotel or something like that, other people borrow it you want to do that but you could borrow something return it back as good or better than what you got it from so any cleanup using all the other stuff there I won't take you to through the rest of it thank you very much for joining me I hope you learned a little bit you know barbers aren't open all over the place so you have to cut your own hair thank you very much for joining me smash that uh, like button that subscribe button down there and thank you and you have a wonderful day and lock jaw and I'm out I did say to be careful, right? Okay, now, really gotta watch that last step, uh, doing it behind your back. Really gotta watch that one.
Just kidding. Now, back to our regular scheduled program. Just as a warning, a safety precaution. Be careful with this. Don't cut yourself. You are working with dangerous tools. Be careful.